Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm revisiting uh, one of my videos I did a couple weeks ago on Orca Slicer and flow calibration. So let's go ahead and get started. What inspired my flow calibration video was the fact that Orca Slicer and other slicers from the same lineage, Prusa Slicer, Bamboo Lab, Super Slicer, all have, if you have precise wall off, wall overlap. And if you're using a box to measure walls, that can be a bit of a problem because if you're going based on your thickness, if you say your wall thickness is 0.5 and you do two walls, you're expecting one millimeter. But if there's overlap, that's not going to be correct. And in fact, if you look down here, I believe with overlap, it's approximately 89%. So instead of having if you have 2.4 walls, instead of having 0.8, when you measure, you'll have 0.714. Now, what I've done is I've created the box and just tried printing with precise wall on and off. And so let's take a look at my results and let's do some measurements and just see really what the difference is. Now, I have my two boxes here. Precise walls are off on number one. Precise walls are on on number two. Now, I started off doing measurements with my cheap calipers that I got off Amazon. And I just want to point out, it only goes to one decimal place. So it rounds up. So I get the same measurement on both boxes. Now I'm going to try, I have my other set of calipers, which really I'm not a fan of, mainly because the display is very, very light. It's hard to see for me sometimes. And I have to flick it back and forth. We're going to measure this. So this is saying this is, let's say approximately 0 0.93, 0 0.89, 0 0.94, 0 0.9. This is with precise walls on. And I'm still really not getting any appreciable difference in those wall measurements. Now, if we go back over to work, here's the four boxes I did. If I look, I have 0.5 here. You can see that all of these walls are actually thinner than they need to be. And this has to do with that overlap. Even with that precise wall on, if I look at the diagram again, I'm seeing there's still some overlap here. So that overlap is affecting us. Now, looking at the quality of the boxes, I'm really not seeing much of a difference in quality between the two. Maybe precise wall on is slightly better, maybe, but I actually think both of these look good. Now I did two more boxes and this was, these I did with, um, how it was doing the wall water. Number three did precise wall on with inner wall first, then outer wall. Number four did precise wall with outer wall first and inner wall second. And I did that because in some case I read online, some people were experiencing quality differences between the two. If they did outer wall first, they got better quality. But my boxes here, I can't tell a difference. In fact, I can't tell a difference between any of these. One of the reasons why I had to number everything was I sort of expected there to be differences. Now, to do this experiment, let me just show you how I did my settings in Orca Slicer. So from my perspective, just as a result, let's go over that before I talk about the experiment. So we've looked at my results and what we're seeing is there's not really a difference between precise wall on and precise wall off, even in my measurements. Secondly, when I printed inner wall first and then outer wall or outer wall first, then inner wall, I didn't really see a difference, at least with these models. Now, I'm going to look at my settings in Orca Slicer just so you can see how I set this up. And this shows another cool feature in Orca Slicer, and this is the per model settings. So here I am over in Orca Slicer, and what I've done is if I click on this model, I've actually changed the setting up here to objects. 
So I'm on this cube, and on this cube, if I scroll down, see I have precise wall off, and then I'm printing the inner wall and then outer wall. Number two, I'm doing precise wall on, inner wall and then outer wall. Number three, I'm doing precise wall off, outer wall, then inner wall. And then last thing on number four, I'm doing precise wall on, an outer wall and then inner wall. So that's just a neat feature you can do if you select objects up here under process, you could change which the settings for individual models, which I really like. I hadn't used it before um, I did this experiment. And like I said, I found it very helpful, but Going back to precise wall and then the print order of inner wall and outer wall, I'm not seeing a difference between either one, and my measurements really aren't making that big a difference either. Now, I did get a little bit of pushback on the flow with people saying that touch wasn't as accurate as the measurements. I don't think any of this and any of these printers you're going to be able to get scientific accuracy. With that said, you just need to get the best quality that's suitable for you. And for right now, I am really pleased with the way these boxes look. I go back, I mean, you can't see layer lines, and I'm doing point 0.2 layer height. I mean, this just looks really, really good. And whether I have precise wall on or off, or my wall water didn't seem to make a difference. It also didn't seem to make a huge difference with the print time either. In fact, it was very negligible. So I hope you find that helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Hopefully, I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. Have a good day. Hi. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15-minute help session with me, and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.